Hello, this is Graham Roberts here. We're going to do a demonstration of Polygon Drawer Extended. The extension is really to calculate a centroid, the geometric center of the polygon, and show it with a kind of red circle. Uh, the point of this, pardon the pun, is to again um, emphasize points which are in the uh, toolkit, the coordinates, X and Y coordinates, that are actually fundamental to being able to locate and plot, as it were, anything on the panel that is of the J-frame. So let's, let's look at that right now. We, we've got the... Um, blue J object here and we could put this object onto the bench but we're not going to do that what we're going to do is run it first of all let's see what's in it um, it's quite a lot actually as you can see we have some libraries being imported we have the swing library of course uh, which is obviously to enable the panel in the first place that we can click on with a mouse uh, and draw co or between coordinates or points draw lines and we also have the input and output for file handling in this one because we're extending going from picking out the point getting the point and showing it on the screen as a printout instead what we're going to do is actually save it to a text file and since we've saved it to a text file when we've actually closed the program using spacebar we could um, save it there and so when the program runs we could load it right back up in that way we could actually work on a canvas let's call it and create a quite complex uh, set of polygons um, someone with greater talent than I do in that way could literally draw on it and produce pictures of cars or, or rockets or something like that. You might ask why bother? Well, it's all to do with the demonstration of programming technique and the use of Blue Jay. So as you can see, the purpose of this program is to draw polygons dictated by mouse click and arrow key in Blue Jay. Centroids are drawn and panel points saved to a file and a new instantiation loads those points from the file and draws them out on the panel. So it's an extension of what we already saw and really the extension is enabled by file handling. So um, you'll be getting a copy of this code if you want it off my GitHub, Quotidian Education repository i'll give you the link do uh, subscribe if you want to get these videos uh, regularly as i do them uh, to brush up on blue jay or just have another look at what might be done using it right well the main class of course is called uh, polygon drawer extended and it itself must extend that is, its superclass is going to be uh, JPanel, and it's going to implement the mouse listener and key listener, so we can use the mouse and the keys. We are going to have to literally list the points, that is the coordinates, and we're going to call that really polygons. It stores all the completed polygons. But we also need a list uh, for the current polygon because it's going to have a set of points um, which are in fact the uh, places between which on the panel a line is drawn and we have to have a current polygon color in this simple rendering it's red uh, red means it's active and then it goes black when one clicks an arrow key to say I'm finished with that particular polygon I want to go on to another one uh, that is just following on from 
the previous uh, version. Now the polygon drawer extended, extended constructor is going to set up the array list. It's going to add the mouse listener, otherwise we can't use the mouse. And it's going to add a key listener, otherwise we can't use the keys. And we're going to set the focus to the the panel, otherwise uh, we're wasting our time using the keyboard. It won't be picked up. So that's what the constructor is going to do. And now we've got uh, the interface of the program. The interface being how we uh, methods that will will actually affect the behavior of the object, which is what we want, because we want to be able to use it to draw polygons. That's a behavior. So we need an interface for that. And the interface is going to have methods. Now, this is actually really a helper method, I think one would say, uh, because it calculates the centroid. And it uses an argument, the list of points, because it takes that list of points and analyzes the list of points arithmetically in order to find the average x, as it were, and the average y, which would be determined to be the geometric center of the polygon. The code looks quite complicated, uh, but it's not really. It's just very efficient. Um, but that's basically what you're doing. Um, and it returns, and this is the important part, it returns a new point. Point being what is in the toolkit that we imported and is just an XY coordinate. Obviously, we have to um, make sure an integer is the X coordinate. So that's why we go to all this trouble of casting to an int. And uh, similarly for the y coordinate, well, we must have um, whole numbers for coordinates. Or rather, I should say we'll be using whole numbers for coordinates, but uh, that, that, that's what we'll be doing because the, the canvas starts from 0, 0, and it doesn't go negative um, as we use it. So we need a paint component. Now that's how we get the graphics done. So that's certainly an interface, isn't it? And we draw the centroid, which is actually fairly straightforward. When we draw the centroid, we are going to set it into red. And we're going to use a fill oval, that is a center, uh, sorry, a circle. And we're going to just sort of put offset so that it actually looks all right. And here we draw the polygon which means that we need to take a list and a color and, well, just plot the polygon. And mouse clicks are going to actually, in this case, output the standard, that is the terminal. It's going to actually show us what the X and Y coordinates are for each polygon that's added. Yeah, this isn't essential. It's just a bit of feedback to give us confidence that things are going on the way we would really expect them to. When a current polygon is being finalized, that is really when the arrow key is pressed or, well, no, it's when the arrow key is pressed, really. And that's when we add the polygon, the current polygon, and we clear the current polygon, and then we actually say what we've done uh, about adding a polygon. Uh, you'll see this actually being output. These are from the interface. Uh, they are not used, but they must be present. It's the rules of interfaces. And if you if you don't do that, it will complain bitterly, the compiler. Here we saved the polygons to files. So remember, we've got these um, this list of polygons, and we can actually save them to a text file. 
the detail of this is important I suppose but it's really basically going through the polygon list and for each point it writes them but this time of course not to the screen as it were not to the terminal but it's writing it to a file uh, what's the file called well it's called um, whatever we want to call it but what we do want to call it is actually a polygon a text file uh, as you'll see in a few minutes so that's what we're going to do we're going to save it to there and then we're going to read it from there when we run another program uh, if we're going to run it and read it we need to have a load polygon from file method and again it's going to uh, load it from that particular file so it's going to read what it wrote so basically it should understand itself shouldn't it and to write these all one really has to do is make sure that as you uh, run it it works and uh, is consistent and behaves properly as the interface should uh, here is the main method which runs the whole program without which you don't have a program and as you can see we load the polygons from the polygon coordinates uh, dot text file uh, which is I can click down on it here we're looking actually at this line here uh, just there okay so let's let's see it running shall we so let's do that so I'm going to go to here and I'm going to uh, say I want to run it so I'm going to click on here say I want void main string it's the main file and it says what well, arguments and of course I don't want to give it any arguments at all so no arguments from me and now we just say go for it and it loads up this rubbish plot that I did a few minutes ago so what is this well <laughs> let's let's call it a windmill right you can see that it's found the centroids for these kind of triangles and it's put a red circle at what it thinks is the center of this polygon and of this polygon and of that polygon polygon now I can actually uh, click the screen and do another po um, polygon in fact I could uh, create a new one let's um, let's go to here and um, let's go up to well, let's go up to here I suppose yeah and let's go over to here just do some random really uh, rubbish things right it's in red so now if I click the arrow key which you can't see me doing I'm going to say I want another plot and it finds what it thinks is the centroid of that polygon and it's not clear because I wasn't clear what I was doing um, if I do another one a nice simple one uh, there sorry there and I think what we should be seeing is that polygons are getting added let me just pull this up where's it gone sorry bear, bear with me a moment I think it might be underneath here there it goes um, added which I wasn't showing you bad demonstration but there we added uh, four and we've added that point there so if I uh, come back to the interface which has disappeared Let me just get that down a little bit draw a very simple straightforward one so point if I just kind of get to this point here and I'm going to press my arrow key and I think I just press the space bar right now they've all gone and we can see we're saving the polygons 
and the polygons are saved to polygon coordinates dot text oh where are they well they are in our package so let's look at the package so here we have the package and uh, if we look at this we would find what we just saved and here we have a whole list of polygons separated by a new line and here they are 16199 was the last one that we we did and it's been saved now I'm going to um, just take from there one I did earlier of a rocket um, now the rocket is just a set of polygons uh, put together and here we go I've got the rocket stored here so if I load that up and I'm just going to do control sorry control a control c and I'm going to overwrite what we had a few minutes ago of that very um, mess messy set of polygons save that pretend that we've been working on that and oh, save that here and uh, just get rid of that and get rid of that and then come back to here and just say we want to run uh, the file again so just close that down and we should be seeing a rocket when it gets run mm, it didn't do that for us why is that let's have a look ah it's i think it's because when i closed it down it overwrote what we just had so i'm just going to fix that now the problem is that between the polygon drawer and this extended version i forgot that i put in comments uh into the text file as in the case of the hash nose cone uh, for this polygon and so of course as it loads it crashes because it's not got a number it's actually got well from its point of view the interface has got rubbish so I can get it to skip that uh, by simply putting in uh, an instruction at this point here sorry about the pun there at this <laughs> place in the file I put ignore comment lines if the line starts with a hash continue that that's all I do I hope and uh, let's compile that see if that's all right should be and I'm going to tidy it up with the auto layout okay so let's uh, compile that again yeah well it, I can't see it coming up with any problems so let's try running the program again uh, where are we here I've got a few things going on I've got uh, debugging going on as well because I had to find out what was wrong and what I found out was that it was falling over in that particular part of the interface all right it should be able to um show me a rocket it's not rocket science come on let's do it and there we go right i can hear the applause now we have uh the nose cone and so on and so forth you can look at this in the code yourselves um but you can see that the centroids the centers of the polygons are pretty straightforward you can actually verify these arithmetically yourself uh, that these are where they should be um, again 
uh, what's the use of this? Uh, it's not a very sophisticated program. Well, in fact, it's not a sophisticated program. Uh, it's a demonstration of what you can do. And um, that's really all it's meant to be. Well, let's do a little bit of arithmetic, shall we? We add 250, the X coordinate at the top of the, the nose of the rocket. And then we add 200, that's 450. And we had 300 for the other X coordinate, uh, the third one for the triangle. And we get 750. And if you divide 750 by three, you get 250. And this red dot here, circle should be at 250 let's see it is at 250.83 so if we add 50 and if we add 100 and if we add 100 we get 250 and 250 divided by 3 is 83.3 i think but anyway it's going to be um rounded to the uh, whole number 83 so that is the centroid for that triangle. And similarly, because it's the same actual um, function that's being used to compute that uh, inside uh, our object as the interface. Right, so we have it. And I could extend this, <laughs> I can extend this rocket uh, drawing by pressing an arrow key and I could actually add to it, and what could I do? I could, um, I could perhaps draw a tiny astronaut. <laughs> right, uh, this is my tiny astronaut. Um, and I'm, this is very difficult to do uh, because my screen recorder is taking up an awful lot of uh, uh, time. Now that is uh, meant to be, well, it was going to be an astronaut, but I think now it just have to be um, <laughs> I don't know what this is going to be. A mess. Um, Okay, well, I don't think this has worked out too well. Whatever that thing is, it's supposed to be adjacent to and complementary to this. So that when I uh, press the space bar, hmm, when I press the space bar, it should finalize the final poly poly polygon, polygon and it should have saved it. So now when I run it, I should hopefully get that loaded up remember it's going to skip any comments but there should not be any comments inside the program oh it didn't didn't save it uh, i think i didn't press the arrow key oh that's good gives me another chance to do it so i will so this time i'm going to uh, i accidentally press that key um, okay, well, let's go down here uh, and up here. And I'm going to, I think we just have a flag that we're going to uh, put into the um, rocket, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, this time I'm going to press the arrow key in order to save that. And then I'm going to press the space bar to clear it. Then I'm going to literally run it again and get my way. <laughs> Here you go. So um, you can see that it's it's extended my uh, drawing. Uh, now the centroid for this is crazy. And the reason is because I didn't actually finish off a polygon. I just left it with a line just to show that it's not really perfect in fact it's um very imperfect but uh, it does hopefully demonstrate centroids and it does demonstrate that we can with swing uh exploit the mouse and the keys 
of the keyboard, particularly the arrow keys, the space bar, to, um, to get our wheel done on the panel. Okay, so let's clear that and uh, look. We had comments in there that we had to skip. Now the comments are not there and obviously not put, there's no comments put in. Oh, so I think we can just uh, iterate. It's been about 30 minutes of time. Um, what we've done here, basically I've given you the code and so you can play yourselves with it. And um, I hope it's been useful. Till the next time, do subscribe. It uh, will delight me also if you make constructive comments. Thank you.